want to talk about the ongoing TV negotiations, but with Spike, they seem to be you know, kind of sticking to you guys in a couple little ways. They counter programmed you and Nate Marquardt fights on the yep. live. They aired the countdown thing at a weird time. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah, I said last time we I did an interview and asked about it. Negotiating is never fun. Negotiating is always, you know. Uh, and even though you're, you're, you're negotiating in good faith and do all this stuff, you're, you know, still giving some kicks to the balls here and there. <laughs> and uh, plus, the, 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 you know, the Wall Street Journal came out and said we're doing, you know, all the things that they said about our negotiations. So, uh, you know, I see Spike side. That's what I would do too. And you guys know I would do that. <laughs> Daniel, we know how you feel about picking fights. Did they just pick a fight with you? They might have. We'll see. You know, listen, it, it, it is what it is. I, I just said, you know, I would I would do the same thing that they just did. So, but they seem like I they, owe you one, Spike. <laughs> they, they, they might be wanting to stay in the MMA business and talking about, you know, a potential deal with Bellator and that kind of thing. I mean, what do you think about that? Uh, I, again, what the Wall Street Journal put out and what everybody's saying, not, none of that stuff is true. You know, people are out there speculating on what's going on. We have no deal with anybody. We're out there talking to everybody, you know, and and so I, I, I don't uh, I, I don't buy into that stuff. When deals are done and everybody does what they're going to do, then we'll see what happens. So the door's not closed, despite the carelessness. 